So, today I want to show you how to make a puppet. I love puppets, yes. Puppets are fun. So what's this guy's name? This is Plato the Puppet. Ooh. I like it. Oh, he's so cute. Mm. So, what kind of puppet is he? He's actually a tube. Oh, interesting. So you make a tube out of uh, um, fleece, and I glued cardboard on the end for feet and stuck into um, skewers to hold it and control it, and then just hot glued on the eyes and mouth. Hmm. That sounds easy. Can be. <laughs> <laughs> But there's no sewing. There's there no hot sewing. gluing. Okay. There is hot gluing, but no sewing. No sewing. And a lot of this is stuff that you can find around the house. If you have like scrap fabric, you know, skewers from the kitchen, cardboard, you know, whatever you have, you know, you can find a way to use it, you know? Exactly. Exactly. So how do we make our own puppet? Well, you start off by making the tube first. Mm -hmm. When you make the tube, by taking a long piece. This one was about 18 inches. This is just a little bit longer, about two inches longer. Mm -hmm. And you wanna get it folded. And I picked this particular fabric because it's got one side of it is a slightly different color. And as you'll notice, it's not exactly even, but that's okay, because that part is gonna end up being the fringes that are the hair for our little puppet. Mm -hmm. So you start off and just lay this flat and then you'll need your sewing scissors and you just cut. And about how much should they leave for the tube if they want to, you know, have a proper? It depends on how fat or how thin you want your tube. I'm leaving mine at, you know, about Four fingers? About four fingers for okay. my tube. And you don't have to worry about being exactly even. If you look at the tube here carefully, you can see there are spots where the tube is thicker and spots where the tube is thinner, and that's, that's okay. That's okay. It does not have to be exact, but you just cut these. So the great part about this guy is that it doesn't have to be perfect, so it makes for a great sort of like first puppet building project, you right. know, if you're into it. Um, you can get more complex things going too, with like multiple like strings and multiple rods and stuff. But, um, you know, this is a nice simple one to start off and I think it's a real fun sort of little creation here. A little alien puppet. Yeah, yeah. And the best part is that, you know, it's very customizable. You can do, you know, all sorts of different accessories for the face and things like that, you know. For the face on that one, I used a white felt for the eyes, and then we had another piece of fleece that had polka dots on it. Oh. So I pulled off, I don't know if you can see them here, green polka dots, I cut the green polka dots off and they have a little bit of purple around them for the, uh, for the eyes, and then I found a curve of pink polka dots. Oh, nice. And I cut that out and that became the mouth. Now you could use, you know, if you have, if you have polka dot fleece, you can use that or you can just color in eyes on a piece of white felt. You could use, uh, if you have like pink or, or red or orange uh, um, yarn, you could use that for the mouth. Oh yes, yeah, so you could um, do yarn. You could also use yarn to add more hair. You could use yarn to add more hair. Give it a little beard. You can use cardboard if you want to make the features, make the, the mm -hmm. mouth yeah. and the eyes. Yeah, and then you can just like draw on the cardboard. Draw on the cardboard, exactly. Yeah. Um, if you get uh, a light colored piece of, of um, fleece fabric, you can also use markers and you know, draw a face on, right. or get even fabric markers and do that. Oh, oh, you know, if you got the erasable markers, you could probably do like a, um, 
if you make the skewers and feet detachable, you could do like a washable version so you can change it up. You could. You could do that. You could easily do that. Infinite possibilities with the tube. <laughs> Whatever you want to do with it, you know, you have a blast. Have a ball. Mm -hmm. Personalize it just for you. Make smaller ones. Give it children. <laughs> oh, that would be so cute. Wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be so cute. And when I did the other one, I put the hair on the back so that when the puppet is up here playing, the hair is actually on the back of the head. And you can also put it with the hair on the top of the head. Just trying to keep things moving. Thank you, thank you. And now that I've ruined her project. You haven't ruined, it's not a ruinable project. <laughs> Hear that kids? It is not ruinable. You cannot possibly screw this up. You know, and if you look, you'll see that not all of these are cut to the same width. Uh, they're not exact. It's okay. That's fine. That's not a problem. It's very wabi-sabi, which is a um, Japanese style of art, which sort of is about finding the beauty and the imperfections of things. Exactly. Nobody's perfect. At least I'm not. <laughs> so it's... It's fine if it's not perfect, and you can make it any way you want it to be. That's fine. However you like it, go for it. And, you know, you might have a better idea for a head. You know, you could. Oh, yeah. If you do, put it in the comments. So, um, I think it would be fun if we could get everybody to, like, if you want to do this project, if you want to, like, take a picture of the puppet you make and put it on the Mount Haikon website so we can all see your puppets. I think that'd be fun. That would be so cool. That yes. would be so cool. So, okay, once you've got it all cut, so you've got all the fringes, just like all these fringes, then what you do is you open it up. which is easier than it sounds. Yeah, it's easier said than done. done. <laughs> so once you've got it opened up, you get all the fringes to one side or the other, whichever side they go on. And if you have paper towel roll, it can make it easier. If you don't, you don't need it. Um, but you just take these and tie them. You take the first two, tie them once, tie them twice, and then you get the next two and tie them once, twice, just like you're doing shoelaces or any other thing that you tie. Just tie them like that. And the, the paper towel roll is really only to keep, keep it to where you can see it a little easier. It, yeah. It doesn't do anything else. And it, you pull it out when you're done, so. Yeah, see, from this side, I can go like this. Yes. And tie them. And tie them a second time. It's really just very simple. But this is how you join them up. So that you've got your, your tube. This is how you make your tube. Now, we're gonna fast forward for a second and meet you once we've tied all the ties, okay? So once you've got it all tied up, mm -hmm. it's all tied as you can see. All the little hairs are there. Now what you need to do is you need to start stuffing your tube. Sorry about my dog. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but he's over here. He just wants to join in the fun. I know. So now you can start stuffing. Just, just take the stuffing and push it in from one end. And your, your sticks that you can use later for... Uh, Legs will also come in handy right now. Yeah, you can use it to stuff this stuff in. And you can also, I've left the tube in on one end, because that can also be helpful for getting the uh, uh, stuffing into the center of the, the tube here. So you just put the it other. in. The other thing is that this is also very customizable. If you like, uh, you know, stiffer um, stuffed animals, you can add just more stuffing. And if you like, you know, more loosey-goosey. Less stuffing. 
Yeah. So you stuff it, stuff it to your preference, your taste. I remember whenever I used to take Katie to the the build a bear. The build a bear. Uh, she always yeah, wanted yeah, yeah. stuff. We said stuff it as much as you can get in there. good I think and if you get too much don't worry about that you can take some out you can always take take out I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this the rest of the way out because it seems yeah. to be doing good just without it yeah looking good you know don't you know don't be afraid to try you know and even if you mess up you know you can always try again that's part of arts and crafts is you mess up until you get it right. <laughs> and who knows, the mess up may be the, you may afterwards decide, hey, you know, I like that better. Yeah, wabi sabi, finding beauty in the imperfect. One other thing you need to think about when you're stuffing it is where do you want it to bend? Because wherever you want it to bend, you want a little less stuffing in those mm -hmm. areas so that it yeah. bends better. I think that's too much. <laughs> Get a little more stuffing in there. There we go. And this one, the last one, I wanted it to bend like this so that the hair was in the back. I think this one I want the hair to be on the top. I want to try something a little different this time. And you know depending upon do you want to make short little legs? Do you want long legs? Do you want it just to you know curve? Yeah however you want it to do stuff it stuff it to the way you like and then try it. See does it do what you want? And if it doesn't just kind of play with it Take stuffing out, put stuffing in until you get it to do the way you want. And I may have to take a little out over here. <laughs> Got a little too much stuffing in. A little too much stuffing. See, even we can't do it perfectly. I want the hair on top. Hair on top. And I think I'm going to go with just, just like that, just yeah. a U. This one's just going to be a U. I like it. Like that. And then I'll have to... So I have the hair in his eyes. What's the next step? The next step is to glue on the ends, the feet. Mm, the feet. For that, I use cardboard. You can use whatever you want. And for these, you'll notice I did little feet with three, three little toes. Yes, but you can also joking. do the feet however you like. You can do the head. I think this time I want to do the feet a little bit bigger. I want to do the feet sticking out a bit forward. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. More like a rectangle yeah. than a circle. Yeah, kind of yeah. like, like you might see a shoe print or something. Yeah. And so I'll do one, and I have my other scissors here. I don't want to use my good. Don't use your fabric scissors on the cardboard. I don't want to use my good fabric scissors Whatever on the you do, never use your parents' fabric scissors on cardboard. They will get upset. Rightfully so. So cut this one out. And another thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is how do you want to put your sticks in? With my sticks, I just stuck them in between the glue and the, the feet so that they're actually sitting in between um, the stuffing and the cardboard on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to stick them actually in your cardboard, if you look at the sides of your cardboard, you'll see there's some holes and you could actually take your stick if you've got big enough cardboard and stick it in the holes like that but to do that you have to make sure your feet are oriented in such a way 
that you can do that because for yeah. this for this foot the way I've done it they're this way they're not that way yeah so again it wouldn't work another thing to consider you know when you are setting your feet up how do you want to get your sticks in how do you want to do that and if you don't have skewers you can use pencils popsicle sticks um, dowels piece of wire you could cut a strip of cardboard really thin you could do that now you might have to um, layer the cardboard a couple times to get it stiff enough to use like a stick mm -hmm. but it would still work and you also, if you want, you don't have to use sticks. You can use your hands. Hand puppet, yes. That's also a valid option. So, I want to try and make these similar. Yeah. You know, they don't have to be exact, but I do want them to be a little bit similar. I don't want my, my poor alien to have one huge foot in one time, but that wouldn't be. Well, there's... There's a saying when doing makeup, when you're doing like your eyebrows and stuff, uh -huh. or your eyeliners, that they're sisters, not twins. <laughs> Very good. So Very you good. can't get them exactly, exactly the same, but hey, that's fine. That's very important. And you know, if you want your alien to have one big foot and one little foot or whatever that's you, valid mom how dare you apply that one big foot one little foot isn't valid <laughs> you can also if you want if you have extra fleece you can use fleece and glue it on yeah you could make a little um paws with the fleece mm -hmm. you could do whatever you want so you could make got... you could make like chicken feet with cardboard you could do a whole lot of things you could do a whole lot of things so i've got i got my two little feet here you know what you're missing what hot glue gun i need to get the hot glue gun that is true and i need to stuff this stuffing a little further in we will be right back with the hot glue gun so i'm a little bit out of frame right now because uh the glue gun's cord can only travel so far so now it's time to glue on our new puppet's feet. One thing to keep in mind when you glue the feet on is that which way your puppet is going to be oriented. Now, of course, if you want, you know, the, the feet can can do, you know, be facing in, in strange ways if you like. You know, they could do sideways like this or whatever. But I want my feet facing forward. So this is the way I'm going to have my puppet. So that's the way I want to have my puppet's feet. Is it a good idea to glue the sticks down first to the cardboard before you glue the puppet on? Or how do you do it? I did the stick afterwards. I just stuck the stick through it. Okay. Um, but either way, whatever works for you. Okay. So make sure I've got, and that's getting a bit unbunched there. I don't want that to make sure your stuffing is the way you want it because it's very hard to redo it once you put the feet on. Yes. Okay, the glue gun is dripping. Oh, the glue gun is dripping. It's time to go with the glue gun. So, oh, which way is it? This way. So I want it to go that way. All right. The other problem I have with this is to make sure I get all of my uh, hair out of it. Yeah. The hair out of it. So. Take the glue gun and what I tried to do, and I'm not sure how effective this is, is to put down, uh, I need it, because I would put down one side and then this way and then attach the one side so that I had the foot oriented the way I wanted. And then I would do the rest of it. There we go. I need to get the longer glue sticks. <laughs> yes, we do. So then you glue the rest of it. <laughs> so then you glue the rest of it um, as best you can and it Mine it's always looks perfect. a little sloppy. That's if there's okay. glue showing, there's no issue with it, you know. Yeah. It's just glue. Now, 
And yes, I do have to pause a bit and go around to the next side. You gotta make sure not to get the fringes in. Yeah. You have to try not to elbow your child. <laughs> nah, we don't have to worry about that. So mean. But then, what? One foot. One foot. We have one foot. You know, it would kind of also be kind of fun to do an upright tube with one foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could. Yes, you could. Just put one here and then put your face uh, somewhere there. Yeah. So it's oriented this way and it's just, you have a tube alien. It's tubular. 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 Oh, I've started her on something now. <laughs> next foot and then we do the next foot once this foot is cool enough that the glue is pretty much stuck down then you can look at that one which way that one is going to orient your next foot and again i'm going to just start with one side here and just put a bunch of glue down And then orient this one in the same kind of direction. And then once that first side is stuck down, you can do the rest of it. Be very careful with the hot glue. Don't burn yourself. Yes, definitely get a grown up to help you with that part. And if you are a grown up, be careful. Careful. Because you can burn yourself. And it will hurt. And it will hurt. And we do not want any trips to the hospital. That is exactly what we're trying to avoid at Mile High Con. It's kind of our policy. <laughs> So now we have two feet. Two feet. Woohoo! Now, how do we put the sticks in? Now, the sticks, I just took, while the glue was still warm, ooh, that one's a little too warm. We'll do this one first. I just stuck it through until I saw it just poke out the other side. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there. It's probably too small to see. Probably but too small to see, but just, just, just poke it through out. the other side. Yep. And then I take the other stick and hopefully this will be cool enough. It's a little tacky still, but probably okay and just and also be very careful of doing this probably another situation where you might need a grown-up to help you yes and if you want to you know solidify them a little more you can add a little extra glue around the sticks mm -hmm. just to be sure don't want those sticks falling out. <laughs> Just like a glue stick, you want it to stay where it belongs. <laughs> I don't know if I'll cut that or not. <laughs> That's up to you. It's up to you. And now while we've got the hot glue gun going here, I'm going to set it aside and set those to cool while we do the face. Do the face. Now, for the eyes, I took a small piece of white felt and cut it, cut it in half. half. So now I've got, you know, two pieces here. And 
holding them together, I'm going to cut them into a kind of an oval shape. And you can also cut them into any shape you want. It's your alien. You can decide what shape its eyes are. Maybe your alien has square eyes. Or... Maybe it has diamond eyes. Ooh, that would be cool. Maybe it has more than two eyes that are all different sizes. That could be too. And then for this one, what I'm going to do is I've got my Sharpie marker. Yay! Stuffing on it. <laughs> my Sharpie marker. And see, now I got two quasi ovals. And I'm going to make... And be very careful with your Sharpie markers because you don't want to mark on your parents' tables. They don't like that either. No, most parents don't like that. So now we've got one green eye. <laughs> If you want to be very careful, you can use your leftover cardboard to put this on top of mm -hmm. so that you're careful and you don't mark through to the table. And there's the second eye. And I'm going to use my black Sharpie marker to put a pupil in. And this, I think this alien's going to have cat eyes where the pupil, instead of being round, is a slit. A slit. Yes. Cat eyes are fun. Cat eyes are fun. Now I don't know if you can see, if you know, it'll pick up enough detail, but there they go, there's the eyes. So then again, we look at our, our puppet. No. And once again, I have put the hair on the back. I was <laughs> put it on the top, but I put it on the back. Shh, shh. Wabi sabi, wabi sabi. <laughs> That's all right. I like my puppet anyway. Now, you want to try to figure out about where the middle is, mm -hmm. so that you get your face centered. I didn't quite get that one in the center. I'm probably not going to get this one in the center, but we'll get close. So this is, that's about the center right there. It looks like actually the, oh, I've got it upside down. The hair I've got. There we go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Always make sure your puppets are the right side up before you put the face on. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> so now here we've got, about there is the center. And the hair is on top, so I want to put my eyes about, that look good? Yeah, that looks good. That looks pretty centered. Yeah, let's get those eyes on. Let's get those eyes on. Let's put some more glue here. And again, don't burn yourself. It's a lot of glue. These eyes are going to be really on there. I hope so. I hope they stay. There's one eye. the second eye. Nice. Looks good. What do we do now? Now we need to do a mouth. Okay. And we're back with the mouth. <laughs> we're back with the mouth. Here is the, the fabric mm -hmm. that I said, the, the fleece that we had that uh, had the polka dots in it. So this is it and I have cut out a mouth. And you see little pink teeth, but that's okay. And we will put 
the mouth here. Now you can put the mouth anywhere you want. You can make a big mouth, you can make a tiny mouth so that it's just got a little tiny mouth right there. Yeah. However you want to do your mouth, do your mouth. You can give it mouths on its feet. You could. You Seems could. a bit cruel and unusual. <laughs> now this one is tricky and I tend to burn myself, so don't you burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. We'll know if you burn yourself. And we'll tell. So I just put a long line of glue on that and then I very carefully, very carefully, pick it up by the corner. Don't burn yourself on video. And then Whew. gently attach it. And voila, we have a completed puppet. Now what's this puppet's name? Well, the other one was Plato. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should have a P name for this one. Paula. I was thinking maybe Persephone, keeping with the Greek sort of theme. Persephone's nice. I like Persephone. Persephone. Or we could go with Phryne. But that doesn't, sound, that doesn't start with a P sound. Okay. But it does start with a P. Persephone. This is Persephone Puppet. Hi. Hi. So pretty. Hi. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you make your own puppet. Put a picture up. Let me see it. Have fun. Whatever you do, don't burn yourself on the glue guns or stab yourself with the skewers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.